Honorable member for Mazabuka. Mr. Speaker, the president was compelled by the constitutional provision to come and give us the progress that this country has made in terms of uh, morality, uh, ethics, patriotism, national unity, democracy, constitutionalism, human dignity, equality, social justice, and also non-discrimination of citizens. Mr. Speaker, the president, um, on section number two, I quoted what he said. He said that these values and principles provide the moral compass for our country. They guide every decision that we make, policy that we formulate, and every law that we enact. From my end, I would like to say the following, that every decision that any government makes or takes determines the progress that that country makes in terms of the above. The president made um, a few comments and outlined a few problems that this country is, is facing. And at page seven, he talked about GBV, he talked about rape, he talked about defilement. At page 11, he talked about child marriages. He spoke about alcohol on page 13 and abuse of it. He spoke about mental disease and depression as well as suicide. The president also spoke about non-protection of the image of the country or the nation. He spoke about the breakdown of the rule of law. I want to now put my comments around these things, that there are things that are man-made and also things that are natural, that determine how people behave. And I will outline a few things that I think PF is responsible for the de degradation of the values the morals, the ethics of this country. Sir, charity begins at home. Take us leaders of this country, and I want you to know that in the midst of poverty, poverty that has been induced by PF systematically, by borrowing indiscriminately, by making sure that what Dr. Musokotwani was speaking about yesterday, in terms of every one kwacha that is spent on the budget, 90 quarter of it goes to debt, debt service as well as recurrent expenditure in terms of paying uh, of civil servants, leaving only 10%. That is the definition of induced poverty, Mr. Speaker. And now, when you induce poverty, what creeps in? It's the vices that the, the, the president was speaking about here. In terms of child marriages, PF can be squarely responsible for this because where do parents get any income? when there's no disposable income in the country. How in the world can you have a country with leaders living, thriving on political uh, gimmicks of giving, dishing out money everywhere they go in the midst of poverty? We have seen members of parliament, one of them is a mover of this motion, MP for Chilanga, distributing cash in the midst of poverty. Point of we order, have seen Mr. Speaker. members order, of parliament order, order, distributing cash. And I want to order, take, order, I want to order, take order, this order, now order, as a point, 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 point of order. I want to, I want to point of order. order. Let I want me, to give, give Honorable Winder some kudos. Let I want to give accolades to Mr. Lewin. Honorable member debating, take your time. Time is going, sir. I think I guided that we are going to reduce on points of order. Because when you look at what we have, when you look at what we have, we have a lot of work. Nonetheless, the Honorable Member debating should prove to this House that allegation Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll do that immediately as I finish. A, a video of some point MPs of, order, point of, of this order, patriotic honorable point of order honorable distributing order. cash order. when they are poor point themselves. Order. Honorable order. member, or oh, take your seat. Both of you, honorable members. Mr. Speaker, is he in order to debate without the mask? I have not allowed you. I have not allowed you. He should you wear to. his mask. He's putting us at risk. Honorable member, can you take your seat?
Take your seat. I have guided. There is an allegation that the Honorable Member was uh, distributing money. And I've also guided that let's speak to the truth. And I've requested the Honorable Member to submit that so that it becomes the evidence to qualify his debate. And I have guided as the person who is presiding the House. And we are going to move in that manner. I will not allow any points of order on this because I have guided. And the Honorable Member will lay whatever evidence he has on the table and move forward without referring to it. That's enough. Honorable Member. The truth, the truth has not disguised, the truth also hurts. In the midst of poverty, PF has been known to distribute money, hard cash. Some members, sir, when they came here, they hardly even ever had sandals. Where do you get money in bundles distributing to citizens? I want to say this. I take my hat off for Honorable Given Lubinda because Given Honorable Lubinda gave counsel to his colleagues. And I also have that evidence where he said it is not appropriate for any leader to use poverty, and I'm using my own words, in order to thrive. It is true that PF have been distributing money. Where are they finding this money from? Sir, it is true that leaders in PF have been moving around naked. I have also that evidence. And the president, who was busy telling us about morals, is quiet. The minister of uh, this guidance, whatever it's called, is quiet. It's called hypocrisy. Some ministers have been quoted, and I can adduce evidence, using tribal and hate speech. Who is fooling who here? The truth hurts. It's time to do some introspection, ladies and gentlemen, through you, Mr. Speaker, that you, you, you walk the talk. Thank you.